I'm at the Heinz Endowment with Marge Petruska. The let me t ask you your title, please. A senior director of the Children, Youth, and Families program. And I want to thank you so much for finding time in your extremely busy schedule to sit down and talk with me about Joyce Rothermel. Um, I've told you my story of how I've met Joyce um, and the kind of impact she's made on me. Um, I know you've been here for 26 years and have done some funding. Can you tell us a little bit about your relationship with the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank? Yes, knowing that I was going to do this um, interview, I uh, thought of a quote that uh, Teresa Hines has said in the past, and I think I want to share that with you because it really represents um, Joyce's life's work, uh, or at least I feel it represents her life's work. And the quote goes something like this, uh, places become what people dream, and in the absence of dreams, they very often become what people fear. Bold dreams, then, are the hallmark of great places. And certainly the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank is a great place. And, um, but it took Joyce and her pursuit of a bold dream. Um, I know, I bet you've heard how relentless uh, she has been over the course of her career. Um, but she stuck to that dream, and I think, in my opinion, she's taken substantial risk. And what's unusual in her, what, 23-year career, she's been able to really sustain that dream. Um, I have funded a lot of nonprofits in my 26 years here at the endowments, and I find it unusual to have somebody who can be the visionary and then continue that vision, manage the growth, take the risk, keep it moving forward in uh, times of, you know, uh, great resources and in times like recessions um, and um, uh, when resources are really hard to come by, that she kept, she kept moving this organization um, forward, always filling gaps, um, and that's pretty pretty amazing. Uh, she was tireless at it, and again, I bet that's a word you've heard. <laughs> I try to think of uh, yeah. of uh, of different words, but she was she was able to um, her timing in building this organization. Uh, I think was very strategic. I, when I, I look back over the um, number of grants and for a large foundation like ours uh, that has uh, some significant resources, uh, we've given about a million dollars. Or, mm -hmm. And so that's not in the big picture, uh, a lot of money. And yet she came to us at critical times, uh, starting in uh, 1995, mm -hmm. where we gave a very small $27,000 grant um, to actually continue uh, the neighborhood farm stands. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, she took that grant and grew it and put it to, um, together with other funders. Um, and um, now she has an amazing network of programs over, and you you know this over 11 counties. In the beginning, it was um, she distributed what something like a million pounds of food, and we're looking at almost 24 million pounds. And to do that, and to build the infrastructure that supports it, um, uh, is um, is an amazing feat. Um, to, and the infrastructure, not only staff, she has very interesting staff that she's been able to keep together mm -hmm. and f find their niches and find where they have the expertise. But as you know, she's uh, created a green building, built it, funded it. I think it's been the fourth location that the food bank was in. And um, again, that was at a very critical time when Pittsburgh was looking 
to increase the number of green buildings and sus sustainable practices. She came to us first. We gave her a very small um, grant for technical assistance. Mm -hmm. in, um, and then we gave some small support to support that building. But so she's done the building, she's done the staff, and she's done the, the network of programs uh, that unfortunately, as you know, have continued to grow because poverty is growing and increasing and hunger. We haven't been able to um, solve the hunger problem in this region or across this country. Mm -hmm. um, of all of the ways that Joyce leads that organization, what could someone else take from that if they are developing their own or trying to assist in some way? What, what can we take from her? Well, it's an unusual combination, um, and I'm sure the next director will have their own special skills, but this skill set of having the passion, the c compassion, mm -hmm. and then the um, tough-mindedness to um, put all that together uh, is not a bad uh, chapter to take from her book. Um, she's very strategic. She, a lot of people are good at doing the program side and don't like the policy work. Mm -hmm. I think, in my opinion, Joyce did both very well. She understood she could continue to grow programs, continue to raise the amount of pounds of foods that needed to be distributed. But she knew if she didn't look at the system issues, the policy issues that were affecting poverty, mm -hmm. that, you know, it would continue to increase, even maybe more so. So she's known as much for her on-the-ground work, um, best practice in how to distribute food, as much as she's known for her policy work. Um, and she's not only known locally here, she's, she has the, she's a star uh, nationally. Mm -hmm. uh, again, to be able to be both and devote the kind of time to doing uh, both national and local work is pretty um, pretty uh, remarkable. Uh, this region will miss her. I think uh, I can in my 26 <laughs> years plus years, I can name a handful plus of um, just outstanding, remarkable leaders, and she would be on that hand. Um, she will. She leaves a strong agency. They're uh, behind with strong staff, a great board, and uh, such goodwill that I know the food bank will be very successful in the future. And we still will have her around, I know. I think so.